First, we will introduce our story. After we finished, we will show you QR code in our book. This is the difference from other picture book. One day, a stray cat was wandering. Suddenly, she heard a fairy pita chirping in the undergrowth. The cat went over to have a look. Fairy pita asked the cat not to eat him. Soon, the cat found the poor bird had got lost. Fairy pita told the cat he came from Linne, and asked the cat to help him him find his way home. They got on a bus then went to the first stop, Gu Keng. They smell something in the air. They follow the smell, walk along the path, and got into a coffee shop. The boss welcomed them and started to introduce coffee, which is a specialty in Gu Keng. After tasting coffee, they thanked the boss and waved goodbye to her. The bus came to Shilin. They got off the bus and found tomatoes. Fairy Pita said tomatoes are the fruit that can best represent Shilin, and eating tomatoes can bring lots of benefits. The third stop was Baozhong. They saw the garlic field. The cat hates the garlic so much because it smells stinky. Although garlic doesn't smell good, it can kill bacteria and is good to our body. They came to the fourth stop, Tu Ku. They saw many greenhouses, which aroused their curiosity. The farm owner explained to them, "It is asparagus, known as the king of the vegetables." The bus brought them to Hu Wei. They were surprised to find a train loaded with sugar cane coming in their direction. Fairy Pita knew lots sugar cane were being shifted to the sugar factory. He advised to go there and drink some sugar cane juice to cool off. Er Lun was their sixth stop. Both the cat and Fairy Pita were surprised to find tunnel type planting pattern. Which can warm soil temperature, so that the growth of melons can be accelerated. The seventh stop was Xiluo. They arrived at Xiluo's famous attraction, Xiluo Bridge. The castle vendors selling cube-shaped watermelon. Fairy Pita said that the white part of the melon is edible, and it contains more nutrition than the red part. They were taken to the A stop, Cetong. They saw a big star fruit set up at the entrance of Cetong Township. Cat explained the star fruit is used as a landmark to represent the place because its quality is the best in Taiwan. They finally came to the last stop. The bus drove in the mountains. Fairy Pita lives in the broadleaf forest of Linne. Which is beside the papaya field. The bird finally arrived home, and his mother was happy to see him again. He asked his mother to help help the stray cat to find a home. They follow the bird mother. A papaya lady showed up. Knowing the cat had nowhere to go, the lady decided to put. Put her in the papaya field to keep away mice. Cat and Fairy Pita felt happy because they they could often see each other. After we finished introduce this picture book, we will show you how to use QR code.